lies, or the more common fake news, alternative facts, poachers, whatever bull they call it next. While recent political events have made these terms commonplace, they have a longer history than most might be familiar with. An article on merriamwebster.com highlights the long history of fake news with headlines from the early 1890s as some of the earliest uses of the fake news label recorded in the popular media of the day. From an article published in a Buffalo, New York area paper, now 90 years gone, indicated that the public's desire for news does not extend towards the Tom Sawyer end of telling stories. The people desire genuine and honest stories over something catchy. Oh, how wrong he was. One of the most, albeit unconfirmed, rumors of fake news being used in a political campaign was by LBJ when he accused his opponent of sleeping with a pig during his first congressional race. When confronted, he responded, oh, of course he didn't, but I want to hear him deny it. Reaching new audiences when they began publishing on the internet, satire news with deadpan delivery, such as The Onion, set a new standard, so much so that it has been mistaken in non-English speaking countries as serious news, as well as launching new entertainment shows such as The Daily Show. As traditional news sources continue to target the older generations with their coverage of topics, shows like The Daily Show approach news in a humorous way and cover topics that appeal to a younger audience. By 2003, this was around 1 in 5 of the 18 to 29 demographic. In contrast to the Indian and the Daily Show, the Alex Jones Show spreads politically motivated conspiracy theories. This was so extreme that in court he testified that his show was political satire, and the Southern Poverty Law Center calls him the most prolific conspiracy theorist in America today. The inauguration of President Trump in 2017 led Press Secretary Spicer to declare it was the largest inauguration event ever witnessed, period. When photos proved this to be a lie, counsel to the President Kellyanne Conway stated that Spicer was giving alternative facts. The COVID-19 pandemic was initially met with skepticism as doctors' opinions were suppressed in China. Rumors about COVID-19 coming from the Chinese CDC lab space in Wuhan led many conspiracy theorists to say it was created in the lab before the greater medical community could begin to investigate the In the United Kingdom, a claim coming from social media blamed the recently installed 5G towers for the spread of COVID-19. This led to the vandalism, damage to, and destruction of almost 80 5G towers around the British Isles. The 2020 election has seen a lot of disputed claims about the outcome of the presidential race, but a Georgia congressional race saw the election of Marjorie Taylor Greene to the 14th District. Greene has gained national recognition of, with her belief in the QAnon conspiracy. QAnon is a growing far-right conspiracy group that believes the world is controlled by a group of pedophilic Satanists that bathe in bl the blood of children. Started on social media site 4chan by a poster calling themselves skewed, supposedly for the level of security clearance they possess. Humans need control over their environment, from recognizing shapes in clouds to chemicals making frogs gay. Humans generally prefer a grand plan over the randomness of chance. The certainty that everything is proceeding to some sort of plan is comforting even if a person wants to disrupt said plan. Identifying the news's veracity requires several checks. Considering the source means looking at the publisher's history, the about section, as well as the web address. Examining the author, what other pieces they have written, are they claiming awards they didn't win or even made up? Consult the experts. People who have built a career around their field of expertise are going to be more trustworthy than someone who stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Check the sources. Is the story told anywhere else? Does the story confirm a previous story? Are citations confirmable? Check the date. An old story can receive new life when other events occur with minor connection. Check your biases. Does the story give new information or confirm what you already knew? If the news is getting you angry, it might be designed to do that instead of informing you. Read beyond the headlines. The headline was meant to draw attention. The full article will show that the headline was a tease to draw you in. Is this a joke? Satire news is intended to seem realistic with disclaimers hidden in a random location, usually at the end of the article. How do we move forward? Accurate information is in ever higher demand as the stream of information overwhelms our various news feeds, and learning how to identify fake news is the responsibility of every well-informed citizen. Libraries are perfectly positioned to work towards the goal of education, whether in situ or online. Efforts can range from posting on information boards near the front of the library to having community forums. We also need to understand that we are not going to reach everyone. Libraries will need to make education of whether news is genuine or false an overt aspect of the library's mission. Libraries are perfectly positioned to work towards this goal. 
And while fake news may never go away, it can be rendered towards the fiction genres such as sci-fi and fantasy.